I believe our why or our purpose is the single most important aspect of all the things that we do and or aspire to do in our lives. And my why today is very clear, but it hasn't always been so clear. My why is literally to inspire new perspective in others that leads them to becoming empowered to live as healthy, happy, and successful as possible. But my why wasn't always on purpose. It, it started out on self to become a professional mimics athlete to escape a negative childhood. And over the course of the last decade of my life with multiple brain tumor diagnosis, uh, blowing out my knee, losing my brother, my younger brother, and my mentor, Dave Mira, to suicide, um, a lot of these different parts of my life have really given me clarity on what my purpose is. And that being said, three years ago, after the third brain tumor diagnosis, I decided to step away from BMX competition, literally walk away from living my dream to fulfill my purpose of serving and supporting others. Ultimately, at the end of the day, I believe that we have so much untapped potential that we all live with that it's just a matter of choice of believing that power that we have and stepping into that power. And a lot of these events I've gone through have taught me and shown me the power I have that I never thought I had. And to get to the level of competition that I did within my sport, it, it required me giving more than what I already was that I didn't know I had left. And so, I ultimately just want to help uh, show people the potential they have with changing their perspective. I'm not trying to change people's lives. I'm not trying to change how they live their lives. I'm trying to change how they see their life and how they show up every day. So that way they can optimize everything that they can that's in our control uh, to be you know, the best versions of ourselves. And so ultimately everything I do stems back to my why. So whether that's being in comfortable situations like speaking on a stage, which I am pursuing, but it makes me really Really scared, really nervous, this like competition it never went away. Uh, or it's writing, or it's making videos like this. Anything I can do to share an element of my life, at the end of the day, I know it's gonna resonate with someone that's going through something that is experiencing that same thing. And to see someone like myself come out on the other end and have a perspective of gratitude to be alive still, uh, I think is very important because there were so many times in my life I felt broken or felt alone or you know dysfunctional and that I was crazy because no one had these thoughts. No one had the thoughts that I had or the experiences I had or they could relate to them. But then I found others that could. And so I wanna be that sense of support, that sense of motivation to change how, they, uh, how, how we all see the world that's what I'm trying to do and so it really taught me you know the first brain tumor diagnosis you know rather than thinking about what if I don't wake up really started focusing on what what am I going to do when I do wake up you know how's life going to change how am I going to change how I show up and how I do things and then you know it was a little over a year ago I lost my younger brother and the reality of what I've gone through but I'm still alive and that he no longer is he doesn't have an opportunity to make tomorrow any different because he's not he's not here he didn't wake up and the reality is so many people don't wake up but you and I did and we have a chance to optimize our choices today to better our outcome of tomorrow and that anyone can do anything they truly believe that they can one way or the other uh, it really depends on what you put up here and what manifests in the actions and so today Everything I do stems back to my why, and my why is to inspire new perspective that leads people to become empowered, to live as healthy, happy, and successful as possible. And I really hope that you take an open-minded approach, you open your heart, and you really audit your choices, and, and really determine, are they aligned with your desires, or are they not? And if they're not, it, it's not easy, but it's simple to make these shifts uh, to be aligned with those desires. Because at the end of the day, we all have so much potential to create the life that we truly desire. It's just a matter of blocking out outside influences. I call it the noise that we intake every day. And you know, really uh, listen to your heart and go after what you truly deserve and desire. We all can accomplish these things and I just want to continue sharing that.